Let's take a look at how IT asset management and asset intelligence impacts our ability to protect the environment with our endpoint solutions. Endpoint solutions are notorious for only knowing the devices that they have specifically been deployed to and they are specifically managing. And there isn't a more important role in the organization when it comes to cyber defenses than your endpoint solution, especially since modern endpoint solutions have the ability to resist attack usually on their own. But that predicates the idea that all devices are currently covered by that system and that all assets internally have protection because it's typically the weakest link or those devices that we do not have our endpoint solution on that typically open up gaps. And it only takes one device. We have said for years that the attackers get a thousand times at bat and they'd only have to be right once. When in IT security, we have to be right every single time. That brings us to the notion that we have to ensure that all devices are covered. Typically with Sevco, when we go into environments, we find 20 to 30% more devices than they knew that they were managing or exist in the network. We do that by combining, right? And, and correlating the asset that exists in many different sources of truth or many different sources of inventory to find those underlying gaps, to provide coverage and to be able to provide priority. So let's take a quick peek. We're looking at our endpoint solution and our endpoint solution says there's 590 devices that are being protected by that solution, which is absolutely fantastic. But if we compare and contrast it to other inventories in the environment, right, we start to look. That 590 looks very different when we compare it to our patch management platform. If you look, patch management and endpoint both say they have 590. Yet when we look at the actual inventories, we see that there's two devices that are currently being managed by patch management that do not exist in my endpoint solution. Vice versa, and probably extremely important as well as patch management is the endpoint solution also has two devices that it knows about, but my patch management does not. We'll add a third tier, and this is the holy grail of, of directory services. It's the one solution that most people will ask their endpoint vendor, can you integrate to Active Directory? Because they know that dark devices or devices that they aren't managing within the endpoint solution, they need to be covered as well. If we compare and bring in the inventories from, from uh, directory services and compare and contrast those to both patch management and endpoint solution, we get a more holistic view of the environment, plus we expose the gaps. In this case, I have 58 devices that are neither being managed by patch management or endpoint solution. That could be a devastating number. Not only are the devices not being patched, and they're not getting critical patches to vulnerabilities that exist in the wild. Even if they weren't patched, there's a number, there's 58 devices that cannot resist that attack by the endpoint solution being able to stop the attack as it gets to the device. It is fantastic that this middle ground that all of these devices are covered by all three solutions. We're more interested in these gaps on the outside of the, of the circles of the Venn diagram in order to determine exactly where we have gaps and how we can address those. Further, we want to take a peek at endpoints specifically and what the asset intelligence can tell us about that. Here we're going to specifically look at devices within the environment. Okay? These devices tell us not only more about the, the, the health of the environment and the fact that the solutions are deployed. It's great that these all five of my solutions are deployed to this asset. Right? but we start to see where gaps exist. More from an asset intelligence standpoint, that idea of presence tells me more about the health of a solution or the health of the endpoint agent itself. In this case, I'm looking at Active Directory. This machine hasn't been seen in four days. I don't know when it's gonna come back into my environment or log back in, and I may be needing to do work against it, but it's been a long time since it's talked to that Active Directory service. But I know that it's up and working because I can see it checking into my other resources as, soon, as, as little as 29 minutes ago. Okay. This allows me to understand exactly if there, what communication is occurring, if the device is up and working, the health of solutions that are talking to it, or the health of the agent. I'll take, for example, this machine. We haven't seen the machine in the directory services for nine days. 
but it talked to endpoint security an hour ago, but it hasn't talked to patch management for at least a day. I need to investigate where these gaps occur and how I can find out more to help them get coverage that they need. This also allows me to do uh, some interesting tasks like determine where my endpoint gaps exist directly. And here I'm gonna run a quick query to find out all the devices that do not have my endpoint agent. And here I'm gonna specifically focus on Windows, laptop, and desktop. These four devices are extremely important because they do not have my endpoint security agent on them. They now become a focus to either roll them out, or more importantly, in the midst of an event, we can use both asset inventory and asset intelligence that is collected and displayed in real time to understand where potential compromise has existed. We know that my endpoint solution is reporting that it can stop a phishing attack, that it is stopping it on all the other devices that contain that agent. Naturally, I then want to know, does everyone have it deployed? These four devices do not. That either become my priority and scope to say deploy those now so they can resist the attack, but more importantly, for my response team, this is the priority for any sort of threat hunting or IOC searching. Why? Because they are potentially compromised. It doesn't mean that they are, but it means that they could not resist the attack that's being reported on other devices. I want to start with these devices to understand exactly if they have been compromised and roll my agent out too. It allows me for more complete coverage in a more real-time scenario than just taking snapshots or comparing spreadsheets of the inventories in the organization.